We are understanding better how myeloma cells interact with immune cells now. Um, and we are learning a lot from other diseases as well, other cancers, how cancer cells interact with immune cells. And together with new technologies that are becoming available, that gives us more tools at hand to develop new therapies. So we can use different levels of the immune system now to attack myeloma. Um, we can use antibody therapies, we can use cellular therapies, uh, and we can even use viruses that are generated to attack myeloma cells. There are also new therapies that are called checkpoint inhibitor therapies. Um, they are targeting a specific feature of many cancers in that they silence the immune system. Many cancers express certain proteins on the surface that make them invisible for the immune system and avoid that they are being attacked. These proteins on the surface can now be made disappear by using, for example, antibody therapies. They can be covered so that the immune system suddenly starts to recognize the cancer cells and starts to destroy the cancer cells. Another way in which um, new immunotherapies are explored is cellular therapies. And these are very exciting at the moment um, because they mean that living cells are modified outside of the body to then be reinfused and recognize the tumor cells. This is a method that uses the patient's own T cells. And in the lab, genetic, genetic modification is done so that a new receptor is inserted into the cells that makes them recognize and attack the myeloma cells. And these cells, after being multiplied in the lab, are then infused back into the body. Now this can be a very effective therapy, and the beauty of that therapy is that these cells continue to live in the body. They can even multiply themselves and stay in the body for a long time. There is already preliminary evidence uh, from other diseases, such as acute leukemias, that that can mean that long-term remissions can be controlled by these T cells that are being infused back into the body. Another immunotherapy explored in clinical trials is viral therapy. Um, certain viruses do uh, infect um, very specific groups of cells in the immune system, and they also recognize myeloma cells. So we can use these viruses to infect specifically myeloma cells uh, that are then likely to die. And these viral therapies can be combined with other immunomodulatory drugs that are already used, such as Revlimid. So this is being tested now in early phase clinical trials and we are very hopeful that we are seeing um, significant remissions uh, with these treatments. Another type of immunotherapy explored in clinical trials is using vaccines against cancers. We know that we can use vaccines to protect against infections. So an idea here is to, rather than protecting against myeloma, using it actually to stimulate the immune system, present a part of the tumor to the immune system for it to then attack the cells. And this is something that's being studied in clinical trials as well. Immunotherapies are fairly specific, so they could spare patients a lot of toxicities that are occurring with current treatments by just attacking the tumor cells and not other tissues in the body. Uh, and with the combination of prolonged remissions, that could be a very, very powerful tool for treating this disease in the future.